16, number one, Christopher Marquez. Number three, Charles Gold. Number seven, Mitzi Darko. Number eight, Brad Kittmore. Number 11, Ellie Wigan. Now wait for him to come to line up. 14, Jacob Sully Sullivan. 16, Anthony Petman. 17, Jacob Tibia. 18, Jacob Tiochi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christie Park for MPL Men's New South Wales action as Northwest Sydney Spirit host Fields United on this Super Saturday here at Christie Park. It's the second of our double header women's game played prior to this where Northwest Sydney Spirit secured their first three points of the season, taking down the Bulls FC Academy. Well, now it's the turn of the men. Can the Spirit men come away with a massive victory? This one, although only being round 10, already a six pointer, as they like to call them. Northwest Sydney Spirit hosting Hills United here this evening. Both teams sitting in the lower echelons of the league table. The home side, Northwest Sydney Spirit, in 14th place with six points, while Hills United just above them. In 11th, and nine points. Spirit just the one win so far this season against the Central Coast Mariners here just under a month ago. They'll be looking to improve on that and get back to winning ways and start catching those in front of them. While Hills United, well, they've had three wins and six losses in their opening nine games. A victory here will obviously create a significant gap on their opponents something they'll be keen to do this evening we'll go through the starting lineups for both teams for the home side the northwest sydney spirit in goals number one chris marquez number three kyle shaw number seven richie darko number eight grant cornwell number 11 ollie wigan number 13 simon nicholas Number 14, Jacob Sullivan. Number 16, and current goal machine, Ante Bakmas. Number 17, Jacob Chidiak. Number 18, Zach Chianchi. And number 19, Jesse Michelle. Four Hills United in goals. Number one, Ryan Wood. Number five, Daniel Petkovsky. Number nine, Yu Okubu. Number 11, Anthony Frangi. Number 12, Jordan Lane. Number 13, Cameron Philp. 
Number 15, Noah Cassily. Number 17, Caleb Jackson Brown. Number 24, Sunday Yona. Number 26, Thomas Mako. And number 27, and captain Nikolai Muller. As mentioned, this game really is a six pointer. Should Spirit not come away with points here, it'll make for a very difficult second third of the season. Fields were to drop points. Well, it'll mean that the, that Spirit are right up, breathing down their necks. As the game kicks off with Spirit attacking left to right in the yellow and black in their change strips of white. Hills United attack from left to right. A massive crowd here in attendance at Christie Park. This is Super Saturday double header. All the youth boys and girls, along with the SAP players. Are all here in full voice, supporting both their women's and men's heroes. Somewhere where they strive to be in years to come. Two touch, two touch. Ante Bakmar there in possession, as I said, goal machine. Scored a goal in the cup, a very special goal at that. And Taubian Park in a convincing win in the end for Northwest Sydney Spirit. Also had a brace a couple weeks ago against Central Coast Mariners, so definitely a rarity for Buckmars, but seems to have started finding the net. Here is an early chance for the visitors of Kubo. Running into a few issues here in the corner and well defended by Shaw. Goal kick for the home side. Back to Buckmars. Here is the he's the team's leading scorer at the moment. And for a player that well scoring goals comes as often as a leap year. Ante Buckmars really finding his scoring boots so far this season. Be very welcome for David Perkovich, who isn't available today to lead his side from the dugout. Away with work commitments. Ollie Wigan with the early ball into the box, cleared away, headed on. Now an opportunity for Yona. His pass is cut out by Darko. And Buckmars calms things down. Passes back to Shaw. Great run forward and a great ball forward by Nicholas for Wigan. Wigan there closed down. Look up Falcone and Nick Pereca, the assistants. Taking charge on the sideline in place of Perkovic. Of course, Luke Cassily in the other dugout leads. Mills United. Foul there by Yona on Wigan. This is the second game of round 10 in the MPL New South Wales competition. Last night, Sydney FC and Sutherland Sharks settled for a 0-0 draw. Two more games to come tonight aside from this one. At the Palace, the Marconi Stallions host Manly United at 7 o'clock. Or St. George Saints welcome Wollongong Wolves to Illinden Sports Centre. Tomorrow, four games for you. Blackdown City and Central Coast Mariners do battle. At Landon Stadium, Rockdale Illinden in a massive game host Sydney Olympic. Western Sydney Wanderers take on St. George City. And rounding off the afternoon, RPR Leichhardt welcomes Sydney United to Leichhardt Oval. Here's Phil. 
driving forward, looking for Yona. Nicholas did well, but Philp comes back and comes away with the ball. You, Okubu is offside. That one almost working out unexpectedly for the visitors. at Spirit's results, they're too heavy defeats against Rockdale and the Western Sydney Wanderers. They both came late on first halves where Spirit was very competitive against two more fancied opponents, two teams that were definitely favourites in those games. Spirit absolutely matched it with them, but it was the late part of the game where they somewhat crumbled and allowed the opposition to run away with victory. Nicholas feeds it forward, intercepted by Jackson Brown. Now Muller. Nikolai Muller. So much experience. Obviously, fantastic career in the Bundesliga in Germany. And then showed all his skill in the A-League as well. Jackson Brown spreads it wide. Frangie looking to turn away, but closed down. Ball comes back forward by Daniel Petkovsky. Now Jackson Brown. Muller. Cassidy spreads it wide for Philp. Wigan stills in there, pitches that one. Now Darko. Back for Wigan. Luca Falcone on the bench asking for that early ball forward. Shaw now. Square for Nicholas who drives forward. Cornwell, there's a good ball forward for Chidiak, but Chidiak's cross, not quite what he wanted. A little wild and didn't quite wrap his foot around the cross. Takes it early. Get it away. Phil brings it down, drives forward, spreads it wide for Yona. One of those newcomers to Hills United. Ball across goal, cleared away. Now some space for Wigan here. Wigan's pass intercepted by Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown looked to move forward with the ball, forced to go back. Jesse Michelle defends well. Here he is again. Back for Chidiak. Chidiak drives forward. Well defended by Noah Cassily. Move the ball! Move the ball! Free kick goes the way of Ollie, the home Ollie, team. Ollie. Keep running. If you've got space, keep going. Keep going. Quite chilly here at Christie Park this evening. Very warm earlier on in the day, but as it is here, the weather changes quite drastically. Definitely a lot cooler within the last hour, hour and a half. Chidiak delivers good ball. Darko on the right foot. Sullivan now spreads it wide for Chidiak again. Chianchi looking to cut the ball back, cleared away by Muller. And that was a chance for Richie Darko. Would have rubbed that fall on his left. Unfortunately for him and Spirit, 
came to his right and just couldn't quite get the connection he would have liked. Here is Darko again, goes down, wins the foul. Jackson Brown with the trip there. Now Wigan. Sullivan combines with Chidiak. Corner off for Chianchi. Now Buckmars driving forward. Buckmars has a go. Overconfidence there from Ante Buckmars. Almost letting rip from halfway there. Here's Darko with some quick feet. Gets to the byline. A cross goal. Chianchi rises highest and heads home. Back where it came from to give the hosts the lead here at Christie Park. Fantastic work from Richard Darko down the left. He got to the byline, clipped it over to the far post. And Zachary Cianci rose highest and headed home. To the absolute delight of the home faithful here. Exactly the start to the game that Spirit would have wanted. And Luca Falcone encouraging his side and David Perkovic I'm sure he's jumping up and down in the United States in Ohio that's where he is stationed at the moment I'm sure that the Americans are giving him some sideways glances as his team hits the front he'll be very happy with the start they've made this evening here Here's Muller. Muller drives forward. Okubu wanted it. He made the run, but cut back at there. Did you, Okubu? It wasn't the greatest ball from Muller, nevertheless. Great ball for there into the feet of Chidiak. Looks as though it came off the hand. And the Hills coaching staff is not happy at all. Here's Chianchi. Cuts inside here. Looking for options. Goes back out wide to Chidiak. Cassidy speaking to the fourth official. Buckmars delivers. Good ball. Jesse Michelle can't hit his effort. Goldwoods wide of the target. Great start to this game from Spirit. They've had three. Good chances early on. One of them converted into a goal. Respond here. Michelle putting the pressure on. Mako. Mako managed to get the pass away to Cassily. Sunday, Yona closed down by Nicholas, and now Spirit could break there, but Chidiak just couldn't bring that ball under control. Yona gets it across, goal, and the chance was there for you, Okubu. He should have done better. He really should have done better there. It was great persistence and work there by Sunday, Yona. The finish, though, missing from Yu Okubo. 
Apologies. Mr. Perkovic is spending time with Nikola Jokic, the greatest basketballer on earth at the moment in Denver, not Ohio. Just to make that clear, he is listening because he's just sent me a text message to inform me of his whereabouts. And he's most definitely a very happy man right now in the Rockies. But can Hills United get back into it? They were close there. And down goes Chianchi. Free kick. Nikolai Muller, the culprit. Nicholas in possession. Has it fall to Zarko who spreads it wide. Here's Chianchi again. On the turn. Finds Buckmars. Chidiak. Quick ball movement here from Spirit. Michelle was the target there, but well defended by Mako. And in there quickly. Fighting at the heels was Jacob Sullivan. Now Chianchi delivers toward Michelle. Comes back down. Shots a handball. Referee waves him away. And Ante Bakmas pleading innocence there. Referee gives the free kick the way off heels. High press really causing Hills problems at the moment. And Nicholas deals with that. Chidiak tried to flick that forward. Almost bounced the way of the home team. And here's Mako now driving forward. Squares it up for Nikolai Muller. Here's Yona. Been active early on. Good ball forward for Frangi. Oh, wow, that was close. Inches away from the top corner. Anthony Frangi likes a special goal. Something spectacular, and that wasn't far away at all. Struck that true and threw the ball. Chris Marquez was not going to get there had it been on target. Here's Chianchi. Shaw, square for Nicholas. And that ball wasn't judged well by Jordan Lane. Chianchi overran it in the end as well. He's Darko. Square for Sullivan. Chidiak can't get there. It was a tough ball to deal with for Jacob Chidiak. Now Yona. Trying to use his pace to get past Nicholas. In the end, got lucky with the touch. Nicholas, unnecessary foul on Jackson Brown. Ball forward by Muller. Ball comes into the box. Frenji's there. Yuakubu cleared away by Ante Bakmas. Almost got a touch on that. Here's Yona. 
and the most active player and almost a clearance there working in the favour of the visitors. Jackson Brown closing down Shaw. Nicholas just slowing the play down for the moment. Good pass by Sullivan and look at this one touch football from Spirit. Cianci now delivers a great ball in the area, headed away. That was some slick movement of the ball by the home team. And now Yona puts on the afterburners and Ollie Wigan chases back to make an important challenge. Good turn from Jesse Jacob, Michelle. Jacob, Jacob. Getting back at him is Cameron Philpin. Him and Noah Castellier did the job to win the ball back. Frangi turns, looks for options. Back four, Cassily. Mako. Hill's now waiting for spaces to appear. Jackson Brown wide for Phil. Spirit really closing all the passing lanes. They did the same thing against Rockdale and the Wanderers, but as I said earlier, gaps begin to appear once discipline starts to get lost. The legs get a bit tired. The head stops thinking as it was earlier in the game. But now they can break here through Wigan. Only Michelle in front of him. Has to go on his own, Wigan, and gets the foul. And earns Cassily a yellow card. Cassidy, not complaining about the card, but more so the challenge beforehand that came and saying that his team should have been treated a little better. Richard Darko to take this free kick, headed clear at the near post. unless Ryan Wood can keep it in. He can't. There's two players down the area. Cassidy gets to his feet, but the Spirit players still down. I think it's Ante Buckmans. Getting old, Buckmans needs a hand from the referee to get back to his feet. Corner goes short, makes its way out to Chit to Wigan. Sorry, here's Michelle. Jesse Michelle still there. Chianchi back for Darko. Darko delivers into the box. Buckmars flicks it on. And Ryan Wood will see that one out over the, the byline. Yona here asking for the ball. Great tackle from Chidiak on Jackson Brown. Wigan now brought down. That was a foul, I thought. And Wigan not happy at all with no whistle coming for him. Really let his feelings felt there. And Chidiak just couldn't bring that down. Game is getting a little physical at the moment. Here's Michelle. High intensity from both teams. Darko! No one was moving, and Ryan Wood, in the end, brought it down. Good save from the Hills United goalkeeper. Richie Darko letting fly, missed the opening rounds through injury. A welcome return to David Perkovich's team, no doubt. No pressure on the ball. 
Ball switched here. Jonah the target. Simon Nicholas gets up very well to head away there. Here's Chidiak. Versatile Jacob Chidiak. Comfortably slotting in at right back to cover for Chianchi. Chidiak is a player that perhaps enjoys playing in the centre of midfield more so, but one of those that coaches love to have in their side. One that can cover any position needed. Won't say a word. Slot in and do the job required. Nicholas sends it forward, intended target is Michelle, and Mako using his body well. Free kick goes away, goes against Michelle, sorry. Mills United, a bit of reprieve there with the free kick. Keeping possession now. The visitors once more. Target was Philp. Nicholas should deal with this. Yona into the back. Unnecessary foul by Sunday Yona. No, shouldn't have any complaints. I think he did. Not too sure why though. Fantastic improvements here to this venue. Here in Macquarie Park, Christie Park. Brand new amenities. It's only going to grow and get bigger and better here. Lots of things still planned for Christie Park in the future. It's a long, and tedious project, but once it's done, no doubt, one of will be one of the best grounds in New South Wales for. MPL football and yellow card there for Sullivan and I have to admit from my point of view I think it was a tough card to hand out to the youngster his 14 year old sister starred only about an hour or so ago in the first grade women's spirit game here's a chance for Okubo Cleared away by Nicholas. Here's Cameron Philp with the throw. Yona. Chidiak strong in the challenge there with Philp. Headed clear. Muller should get there first, he does. Caleb Jackson-Brown back for Daniel Petkovsky. Frangie clips it over the top, but too much on that pass, and Chris Marquez comfortably gathers that one. You can feel the tension and how much is riding on this game for both teams? As Noah Cassidy drives forward. Great ball in. A little bit too much on it. And it'll go out for a goal kick. Wasn't a bad run from the central defender. And it looked a good delivery off the boot. But obviously just a little bit too much on that. Is Shaw back for Nicholas Bakmaz now Darko combining with Wigan should be dealt with by Cassily who comfortably sees it out over the byline. Oh, 
Cassidy goes down. Late challenge from Jesse Michelle. Just over 15 minutes remaining in this first half. It's been an excellent first half if you're a Spirit fan. Three good chances, one goal. And they've really kept heels to a bare minimum so far. And now it could get worse for the visitors as Michelle looks to break through. Almost playing in. Ollie Wigan there. And a great challenge from Cassidy who is on a yellow card. Strong challenge between him and Simon Nicholas. Buckmars. Now Darko. A cool ball with two hands in the back of Darko. And the referee does well to bring that one back. Good decision from the man in the middle. Darko will deliver another set piece into what he hopes will be a dangerous area. Give the home team another chance. The header there taken off the head of Chidiak. Kept in. Well, oh, Shaw will take the throw, let it roll over the sideline. Corner now for the home side. Ready to clear over the byline. Richie Darko will deliver once more. Went short last time. This time into the box. He's all alone there, Cornwell, but. Overran that a little. That was an actual very good chance for the home side. Unfortunately for Cornwell, he started a little too central and couldn't quite get out there, but he was all alone. No one had followed his run. The cross just slightly over his head. Wood gets us restarted. Shaw rises high there. Did as Akuba used his body well and it falls his way again. Great ball forward for Yona. It's in the back of the net. Sunday Yona gets there to Love Marquez. Yu Okubo lifted it over the Spirit defense and Sunday Yona did the same over Chris Marquez to equalize for the visitors their first real chance and, and a goal immediately 1-1 now here at Christie Park Luke Cassidy will be very happy with that they haven't had too much of the play so far they won't care Darko and Chidiak turns out Chidiak tried to poke that ball through to Darko didn't quite work out and Buckmar's working hard getting away from him though is Jackson Brown Frangie on the turn and Buckmar's Gives the free kick away. Swiping at the feet of Frangie. This opens up the chance for the visitors to turn this one around within the first 45 minutes.
Frangie will deliver into the area. And Chris Marquez has given him a lot of space on this near post. Should Frangie choose to go direct, and it wouldn't surprise me. And Frangie clips it into the box. Good ball. Short clears away. Corner kick for the visitors. Most definitely feel there'll be a lot more action in the 55 minutes that remain of normal time in this game. Be they cards or goals, there's most definitely much more to come. Frenji jogs over after taking the free kick to take the corner. In swinger crowding around Chris Marquez. Ball goes toward the far post, headed away by Shaw. Cleared away now by Sullivan. Lane. Didn't really connect with that one as well as he would have liked. Here's Chianchi. Great turn from Chianchi. Couldn't find the pass though. Cassily. Phil. Here's Daniel Petkovsky, former captain of Rockdale Ilium then. Now here at Hills United. Sullivan with the foul. Looked to take it early, did Hills, but unsuccessful. Frangie gets another opportunity to deliver into the box. Clip forward. Marquez should not have any issues, and he doesn't. Releases early now, looking for Jesse Michel. But again, Jesse Michel is too isolated at the moment. The wingers and midfielders are just too far away from him. The gaps are too big. Can't really do it all on his own, Kenny Michelle. Quite words, Sunday. Good boy. Spirit need to step forward when in possession. They need to get closer to their striker. Given away there by Cornwell. Now Muller takes the gift. Yona closed down by Simon Nicholas, who can't keep that one in. Muller leaves the throw for Cameron Philp. Muller was a major driving force in Hills United's promotional run last year. Really led a good team to the next level. Shot from distance there. Marquez holds Petkovsky. Getting into unfamiliar territory for himself. But Marquez was quickly down to thwart the danger. He's Chidiak. Spira have just sort of gone away from the game a little bit. They were playing within the first 10 to 15 minutes, but... Can they get back in here now again? Here's Michelle. Couldn't bring that one down. Mako came across and closed him down quickly. Falcone and Pereka both in discussions here below the commentary gantry. Go, Timmy! Philp now. Nicholas trying to close him down early. Ball's a dangerous one. Breaks back for Philp. Okubo on the turn and Marquez holds. They keep peppering the visitors. And they're slowly growing into the game. The more 
Spirit allows them to do so. The more they retreat back, the more confident. Hills United will get the difficult, the more difficult the task becomes for the home side. They need to go back to where they, what they were doing in the opening moments of this game when they took the lead, where they were in control, creating opportunities. Chidiak wide for Chianchi. Thought about the early cross cuts back on the left. Chianchi still there with the ball. Crosses it in toward Wigan. And Philp had to be careful not to bundle over Wigan, who got his body in front. Oh, great feet from Ollie Wigan. Delivery wasn't bad either. Cleared away. That would have made the highlights real, no doubt, there from Ollie Wigan. The old Ronaldinho left right. Ball clipped over the top. Great ball from Nicholas. Shift back from Buckmars. Headed away. Buckmars had to do better with that ball into the box. It was a good run from the midfielder. And an even better ball from Simon Nicholas. But the end product from Buckmars just not what was required. Here's Darko with the pressure from Hills United. And the referee gets in the way there. Right Gary Rafferty, Falcone and Pereca all off the bench, all letting the referee know what they thought about that. Pereca saying well defended. Indeed it was. Spirit got the ball back but they gave it away almost immediately. Careless free kick there on Chidiak. Cassidy unhappy. Not sure if it's with the referee's decision or his player for the unnecessary foul. Darko the chance to find the man in the yellow shirt. Buckmars and Shaw targets as is Cornwell. Headed away though. Well defended from the visitors. Here's Cornwell, plays it out to Wigan. Great feet from Wigan, but also great defending. Now Darko wants it on the left. Plays it wide right. Chianchi is cross blocked by Petkovsky. Kofsky sends it forward, hit a one there. Chidiak didn't have the support he thought he had. And he's seen the keeper off his line! Off the bar! Thomas Mako would have scored one of the most spectacular goals this season. He saw Chris Marquez too far forward. Didn't think twice. Let rip with a perfectly struck ball. And fortunately for the spirit keeper, came off the bar and straight into his hands. Oh, that would have been something out of this world. Had Thomas Mako found the back of the net there. Buckmars forced backwards. Shaw. for Cornwell. Here's Wigan showing off his skills again, trying to find Chidiak. Done enough there, did Noah Castle shooting the ball out of play.
Brian Wood will get us restarted now. In a good first half here. Almost at the end now. Free kick goes the way of Spirit. Here's Simon Nicholas back for Marquez. Don't forget Marquez conceded from halfway against St. George last week. Different circumstances though. This one would have been a lot more special. Darko trying to dance his way through. Wins the foul. Plays it early for Sullivan. Sullivan drives. Spreads it wide for Wigan. Wigan delivers into the area. Dealt with by Hills. It wasn't the best ball from Ollie Wigan. Here's a cool ball now. And a silly foul there by Buckmars. And Okubo kicked out at Buckmars there. Okubo will be very lucky to get away with no red card there. It was a kick off the ball while Buckmars was on the ground. If the referee seen it, it's an absolute definite red card for Yu Okubo. And I'm unsure if the assistant referee seen something. If she saw it, or Kubo will see red, I have no doubt. It was a bad challenge from Bakmas to begin with, but it's a red card. I have no doubt for a Kubo. If any one of the officials saw it, yellow card for Bakmas. And it looks as though Okubo has gotten away with that. I'm not sure he would have been able to see that in the cameras, but he definitely kicked out at Buckmars. He was united, and you, Okubo, most definitely get away with one there. He's Frangi now. Going to be a double whammy for Spirit. Not on this occasion as Chidiak tries to get away. And Mako does so well. Tried to play in Yona. And Cornwall will see that over the sideline. As the referee blows for half time, it's been an exciting, enthralling first 45 minutes. The home side took the lead via Zach Chianchi. Had a few chances in the opening moments too. Anthony Frangi with the best chance. For the visitors, his shot just going wide off the top corner. That was, of course, before Sunday. Yona managed to equalise for Hills United. And then we almost saw one of the goals of the season. Thomas Mako letting fly from just inside the spirit half. He saw Chris Marquez off his line. The ball cannon back off the crossbar into Marquez's hands. Half time here at Christie Park. We'll be back in 15 minutes. But for now, it's Northwest Sydney Spirit 1, Hills United 1.
And we're back here for the second half at Christie Park for this MPL Men's New South Wales Round 10 fixture between Northwest Sydney Spirit and Hills United after the first 45 minutes. Scores are locked at 1 1. It was the home team that took the lead. Zach Cianci rising highest at the far post after some fantastic work by Richie Darko down the left. The visitors equalised thanks to Sunday Yona and almost had the lead through what would have been the goal of the season. Thomas Mako seeing Chris Marquez off his line, letting rip from just about halfway. His effort cannoning off the crossbar. Cornwell for Chianchi, who's been very lively as Zachary Chianchi. And Chianchi now plays in Michelle, who has a go near post. Great save. Ryan Wood, he would have been disappointed had he been beaten at the near post, but it was a good strike from Michelle. And a good start to the second half for the home team. Richie Darko now will deliver a corner for the Northwest Sydney Spirit. Wood should deal with that. He didn't. Ball bouncing about, and Noah Cassidy now clears the danger well away. It was a testing ball from Darko. One that the Hills defence and goalkeeper really struggled to deal with. Cornwell plays it wide for Chianchi. Ball forward now for Chianchi. Last touch came off Mako. He's kept it in. And Michelle across goal. And somehow the visitors survive that. Coming back again. Here's the home side. Cross goal. It's there for someone to smack it toward goal. Instead, it's cleared away. Simon Nicholas. Let's fire from distance. Good start again in this second half from the home team. They started... The first half well too, but really fell away as the game progressed. It was the goal that put them off and really changed the tune of the game. That's where he was started to play some football. Started to get back into the game. And really finished the first half the, the stronger. And this second half, it's been all spirit. Michelle there, that was bouncing all over the place. In the end, free kick goes the way of Hills. I think Michelle is the judge to have used his hand. It was the assistant referee that raised the flag. Petkovsky looking to switch toward Okubu, but he's offside there. Here's Nicholas feeding Bakmas. Now Michelle for Sullivan, who spreads it wide for Chianchi. And Chianchi takes it in to the left. Here he is for 
Darko, and across comes Mako to clear away. Cornwall will take the throw now. Pressure continues from the home team. Cornwall throws it long. Michelle tried to head it on, and Muller clears away. Shaw had to be strong there, but Akubu got around. Now plays it out wide for Sunday Yona. Look at the pace on Yona. Great save, Marquez. Really couldn't deal with it there. Simon Nicholas, and he's got to deal with him again. This time does better. Blocks the pass. Danger still not away, and Marquez comes and clears. Claim, sorry. Releases early for Michelle. Michelle battling away with Mako. Hands all over Mako. It's a foul for Hills, no doubt. Cornwall, strong challenge. The foul eventually comes for the challenge by Cornwall. And of all the fouls, that one probably wasn't the foul. The foul came much earlier. Nevertheless, referee, referee's whistle blew in the end. Throw taken long toward Michelle. Good use of the body, but Mako's there once more. Stuck in the corner here. Thomas Mako will do well to get out of here. He does. Finds the outlet in Yona. And Jackson Brown's pass is slightly off. Buckmars can't lose the ball there. Manages to keep possession. Cleared away. After Wigan tried to get in, he's gone quiet as well. It was very lively in the first half. Darko gets it onto his favoured left. Great ball in. Had to be better there from Chidiak. It was the perfect delivery from Richie Darko, but Chidiak just couldn't direct the header goalwards. No pressure on the ball, draw! Sabi, Jolna! Sabi, you got two! Chachi, got to help! Chachi, got to help! Nicholas back to Marquez, who clears away first time. Last touch coming off. Muller. Throwing for Spirit. Muller just refusing to give the ball back. Slowing down intelligently. Allowing his team to get back into position. Here's Darko. For Cornwell. And she, and she wants it. Great ball almost there from Cornwell. Looking to split the heels defence. Richie Darko was running onto the end of that one. Sullivan back for Nicholas. And Wigan. A cross goal. Darko was there. Wood doesn't keep it in the field of play. It'll be another corner. Darko will take again. This will be an outswinger now. Ball comes in. Good delivery. Flat delivery. Buckmars was there, as was Cornwell at the far post. And one of them really should have put that one away. It was a good chance. It was 
In fact, Shaw, who arrived at the far post, Buckmars missed the free header. And Shaw getting on to the loose ball at the far post, couldn't direct it. Goldwoods was under a lot of pressure, though. It wasn't easier to get that one away as he would have liked. Wood sends it forward. for Chianchi. Chianchi still battling away. He's Darko. Clips that one. Wood should deal with it. Wide of the target. Ball forward here, can Michelle get there? Wood was out quickly, clears away. He's sure. Spirit is looking better in this second half. I've got some very good options on the bench as well. Jared McKinley, Corey Kavanagh, Yanni Buzukis, Luis Lobo, Joel Wade and Kaya Williams. The other end. Luke Cassidy has Brian Jamba, Ian Mumford, Samuel O'Connor, Mitch Smith, Thomas Lopez, and Emlyn Cross. Great pass there from Michelle Wigan. Tried to find Buckmars. Buckmars turned toward goal. He's brought down, no foul, said the referee. Here's the, here he is again. Back for Simon Nicholas. And Darko tried to let that one go. Dummy it through the legs, but there was no one behind him. They'll come back again. Spirit. Ball into the area. Darko flicks it on, but not going to trouble the keeper with that. No Jared Lum today, also not available for Dave Perkovic's team. His experience is second to none. A real leader of this squad. Here comes that first change. It's Corey Kavanagh coming on. Buckmars comes off. Buckmars on a yellow card. What can Kavanaugh bring now? Here's Chianchi. Couldn't find the pass for Chidiak. Frangi. The feet from Frangi to get away from Chidiak. Mako. Cassily now. Is Yona. Somehow Yona got something away on that. In the end, falls into the hands of the spirit goalkeeper.
Cassidy plays it forward only as far as Nicholas is. Darko now, good strength. Good challenge on the far side as well to stop Darko's forward movement. Cornwell finds the feet of Kavanaugh. Now Chianchi looking to run into the space. Kicks it back out to Chidiak. Gets it back. What a chance. What a opportunity come and gone. Hills, sorry, Spirit really should have retaken the lead there. Both Michelle and Wigan moving in there, unable to get on the end of that cross. It was a fantastic move by Chianchi and Chidiak. But Wigan and Michelle both unsuccessful in applying the finishing touch. Nicholas plays it forward. Wigan now. Ken Spirit. Get something for all this for second half domination. That was the best opportunity of the second half so far. Get up! You can hear Luke Cassidy screaming to his team, urging them to step forward. They're sitting so deep, allowing the pressure and inviting it from spirit. Looks as though Jared McKinley may be the next player to come onto the park for the home team. Great feat from Chianchi again. So lengthy, difficult to deal with. Spreads it wide for Chidia. Great ball. Michelle gets there. And Michelle heads at home. A wonderful team goal. Started with Zachary Chianchi, who poked it out wide for Chidia, who delivered a delightful ball into the box and Jesse Michelle heads it into the far corner to put the home team back in front and now Spirit lead here at Christie Park by two goals to one a well deserved goal, a well deserved lead for the home side it has been coming no doubt Michelle capitalizing on a fine team move as Luke Cassidy immediate, immediately calls for Brian Jamba. And Ian Montford, in fact, I think it may be a triple substitution from Hills. As Cornwell's fouled deep in the corner. Thomas Lopez will be the third player. Zach Chianchi, still a very young footballer, so confident, has something special at right back. Someone of his size. It seems as though technically players of that size generally struggle, but not him. Fantastic technique, excellent feet, and very intelligent as well. Muller comes off. Noah Castley comes off, also was on a yellow card. And Sunday Yona, the goal scorer, is also substituted. Yu Okubo will go out to the right flank. Lopez into the center space. Here is Okubo. And Nicholas does well to get his body in the way there.
Great feet there. Can be kept in? No, it can't. Lane couldn't get there. Petkovsky did well there to get past a couple of players now. Mako. Montford and Jambo have moved into center, into the center of defense, allowing Mako to move into his more preferred role as a midfielder. Jamba. Petkovsky. Mako under pressure. And pinched there by Chidiak, and now Spirit can break. It's four and five, but they're getting back quickly. The away team, Montford strong in the challenge there. Double change as well for Spirit, Jared McKinley. Lucky the Kookaburras on, are on the far side. McKinley usually struggles to find the target. Instead, the poor Kookaburra is up on the netting behind the goal to be in danger. It's Jesse Michelle comes off. Scorer of the second goal. He's replaced by Yanni Buzukis. And Jared McKinley comes on. For Jacob Sullivan. Some performance from Sullivan. Played with a yellow card from so early on in the game. You wouldn't have been able to tell. Luis Lobo also being readied on the bench here. That substitution isn't too far away either. Here's Darko. Manages to win the corner. Richie Darko does. Ball into the box. It's there to be finished. But it was, I thought it was Buzuki, so instead it was Kavanaugh. And now Okubo leads the counter, and Jared McKinley comes across. Got to be very disappointing. Buzukis wants it played early, but McKinley keeps possession. Chianchi, Buzukis, this is football! And Chianchi, how do you put that away? That one would have made the highlight reels. Total football from Spirit. Buzukis. Chidiak and Chianchi, one touch football. It's lovely to watch. Ken Hills get him now on the counter. It's Frangie with quick feet. Cuts it back here. Opportunities on. Shot blocked by Spirit and Marquez couldn't keep it in. Corner now for Hills. Ball comes in, Marquez confident there. Ball goes forward now for Buzukis. Loses out in that battle. Jamba back for Montford. Now Petkovsky. Oh. 
Now Mako. Wide for Montford. Nicholas does well. Darko wants to play forward. Wigan goes back to McKinley. Poor ball. Taking advantage of by heels here. Lane closed down. Last touch came off Lane. Spirit ball. Louis Lobo will come on and Cornwell played the throw early. Buzukis went up for a challenge with Petkovsky. And Darko comes away with it. Mako fouls him though. Not happy with the call. He'll get a yellow card, will Mako. Referee unhappy with his response. Renji not happy with some of the referee's calls. Neither is Luke Cassidy. Game will get back underway now. Kavanaugh. Forward for Lobo, and Luis Lobo did come on. And during that melee, I missed to see who he replaced. Great work there. A lot better in this second period. The home team. Mako back from Montford. Petkovsky looking for the run of Lopez, but the flag is raised. Lopez went into an offside position. Richie Darko is the one that was replaced. Good minutes for Richie Darko. David Perkovich will be happy that one of his important squad players got a lot of minutes under his belt this evening. Slowly building to the 90. Good turn from Kavanaugh in midfield there. And the space opens up for him. Chidiak wants it. Does well to bring it down. Cornwell. Pass given away straight to the feet of Frangie. Did well to recover there. Cornwell and that was dangerous and as Falcone says, too casual from Kyle Shaw. That pass there, not good enough for Lobo. Now Jamba brought down, free kick goes the way of the visitors. Smith preparing to come on for Hills. Can find the back of the net. Something that they really need right now. Hills United. Down by two goals to one. The other two games in this round have kicked off. The first was a challenge from Jordan Lane had to get that right because if he didn't, I'll tell you what, you may have seen red there. Here's Chianchi again. Throwing goes the way of Spirit. Ball 
ball into the box. Montford clears. Mako under pressure, finds Petkovsky, who's closed down, Lobo, touch for Buzukis, goes down. Shouts for a penalty, nothing giving though. Almost pinched there by Buzukis. Mako gets away with it. Now Lane plays it centrally. Spreads it wide now for Frangie. Does Jackson Brown. Ball into the box. Dealt with well. Chidiak. Square for Lobo. He won't get there though. And Hills will continue the pressure. Mako plays it out wide. Ball comes back. Oh, Kubu should have put that in. It was a good cutback, but Yu Okubo sends the ball wide of Marquez's goal. What a opportunity. Luke Cassidy puts his hands to his head. He can't believe what Okubo missed there. Good team move as well, that one. There's been some good football on display this evening. From both teams. Here's Petkovsky. Now Jamba. All the way back to Ryan Wood. Montford now taking the captain's armband from Nikolai Muller. Chidiak get there first. Petkovsky did well. Plays it forward and finds Mako. Switch ball for Lane. Cornwall came out, but Lane got past him to Frangi. Frangi's cross is blocked. Cornwall battling away. In the end, Chianchi comes away with it. And that'll be a yellow card for Jordan Lane. Change comes now. Mako comes off. Good performance from Thomas Mako. Almost scored one of the goals of the season. Almost lose the ball there in midfield. The spirit, but McKinley came across to pick it up. And now Buzukis. Not many options in the area. Chianchi arriving slowly as is Lobo. Still Bazookis. McKinley was probably the better option there. Wigan with a neat little back heel. Strong challenge from Montford. It'll be a corner. Shouts from the Spirit Faithful asking for a penalty. In the end, they got to settle for a corner. Which Luis Lobo will deliver. This one will be an in-swinger. Cornwell, Shaw, Kavanagh all go forward. It's a good ball in again. Took a deflection at the near post. Didn't fall the way of Shaw. Who crosses it in. Great cross in. But Kavanagh probably took it off the head of Buzukis. It would have been better left for the striker. As we move into the 80th minute, just over 10 minutes remaining plus stoppage time. I can't imagine too much of that either. Spirit getting ever closer to a massive three points in terms of their season. And I know it's very early to start speaking about these things, but 
so important points at this stage and can they settle it here lane closing down well and montford clears away as i was saying it's a third of the season gone but points are imperative in particular when you're in that bottom third of the table every point you get is worth gold and here is another opportunity is it three yes it is only wigan makes it three and all but settles the points for northwest sydney spirit a fantastic back hill into the path of wigan i thought the angle was too acute chianchi was arriving but wigan didn't need him wigan beats the keeper finds the far post and makes it 3-1 Spirit are flying toward a massive three points here at Christie Park to the delights of the crowd. They're absolutely going bonkers here. And you can hear the crowd. Soak that in. Northwest Sydney Spirit lead. 3 1. They're on their way. Still need to keep disciplined. Ensure that they close this one off. Not just the points here, but if you have a look at the table, things are extremely tight. Goal difference in the end can play a very, very important role as well. Here's Lane trying to get Hills back into the game. Ball falls for Mitch Smith. Oh, what a save. Chris Marquez pulling that one out of the top corner. What an opportunity for the visitors to get back in this one. Spirit keeper comes up, trumps. Here's Jamba. Lane spreading it wide for Frangi. And Chidiak, what a performance from him as well. The whole Spirit team in fairness, but there's a few that have really stood out. Chianchi, Chidiak, Chiching. Haven't they had a game? Call on what you want. David Perkovic and his coaching staff won't care. So his name's being heard as far as Denver this evening as Chianchi still putting in the hard yards. Buzuk is now working hard to make it difficult for the visitors to play out here at all. But Koski back to lane. Look at the yellow shirt swarming. They've managed to play out here, but only as far as Kavanaugh, who comes across and makes a big challenge. Frangi, very disappointed with the man in the middle. The referee going to have a chat with Grant Cornwell and Mitch Smith. Something happened in back play. Didn't quite catch what happened there but enough for the referee to pull the game up and speak to both players Lane sends it forward Smith brought down by Cornwell Free kick goes the way of Hills United. Frangie will take this. Jeez. 
Five minutes to go here. You've got to feel as though this is one of the last opportunities for the visitors to get back into this game. Frangie delivers. It's a good area. Chianchi loses out to Frangie. It's a bad challenge from Bazookis. Bad challenge from Yanni Bazookis. Goes unpunished. Jamba forward to Lopez who loses out. Here's McKinley now. Chidiak, good turn in midfield. Seen that on a couple occasions. Now Lobo. Oh, some skill from Lobo. A good tackle from Montford in the end. That should be a goal kick. And the assistant referee has called for the goal kick after the referee had pointed to the corner. Good call from the AR. It was clearly off Lobo last. Smith plays it forward, intercepted by Lobo. taken by Hills Lopez ball into the area Frangie's there Marquez reacted offside is Frangie Samuel O'Connor Coming on four kills in place of Anthony Frangi. Frangi not happy. Not so much with the result, more so the refereeing, it seems. Bazook is trying to get around Montford, but too strong is Montford there. Shaw comes across, clears away. Can Lopez get there, he's got a bit of pace on him. Lopez, good ball across goal, but... Chris Marquez down smartly to stop that. Mitch Smith was waiting in the area to tap that one home. Across the grounds, St. George have taken a shock lead against Wollongong Wolves. It's 1-0 there. Massive challenge there. And things are kicking off here unnecessarily between the two teams. The game is all but done. This is quite unnecessary. And if there are red cards here, both coaches will be infuriated. The referee has lost the handle of the game somewhat. Unnecessary for, I think it was Wigan to run in first or Buzukis. And then following that, Ian Montford as well. The more players that ran in, the worse it got. In the end, they were all in there. They all had something to say. And if that red colour does come out, well, I can tell you now, Luke Cassidy, David Perkovich will be very, very upset. In fact, Fair to say they'll be infuriated with their team. 
So the first challenge wasn't great. Didn't require a reaction in particular when Spirit leads here three goals to one. We're into the 90th minute and the game is all but done. cards out I think yellow card for Lopez yellow card for Montford and it looks as though that's about all he's going to give Yellow card for Simon Nicholas. And that's about all the gifts the referee is going to give. We'll get back to the game now and it'll be a free kick for Spirit. Two minutes of stoppage time. Sorry, five minutes of stoppage time has been added. To be honest, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> One side of the board said two, the other said five. So, not sure how much time has been added. I'll take a guess and say, we'll say six. We'll give it a six. <laughs> Lobo now. Lobo has a go from distance, but wide of the target. Montford drives forward. Montford sends the ball toward Mitch Smith. Can we have some drama here in the final moments? Marquez picks up the ball. Look to waste a couple more seconds. Marquez sends it forward. Spirit will be happy with the ball. In this part of the pitch, time continues to tick away. Bazukis gets it out to Lobo. Chidiak back for McKinley under a bit of pressure. McKinley foul goes the way of the visitors. Montford sends it forward. Not much time to waste anymore. Well, Kubo can't do anything with that. Victory here. will push Spirit above Hills on the competition ladder. They'll move into 11th place. Just their second win of the campaign. Come on. Foul there by O'Connor on Wigan. Pull forward now for Chianchi. 
Brings it down, wins the corner. If there were five minutes of time added, we've come to the end of that. There was that melee as the 90 minutes was up, so... Lobo for Chianchi. Last touch coming off Jackson Brown. Chidiak taking his time over the throw. Chianchi. Corner kick. And they're successful in wasting all the time possible. And the full-time whistle goes here at Christie Park. North West Sydney Spirit record a 3-1 victory over Hills United. A great game of football. In the end, it was the home team that came away with the spoils. Some excellent football on display from both teams. Spirit in the end, the better side, and run out deserved victors. They open the scoring in the first half via Zachary Chianchi. The visitors hit back and equalised with a Sunday Yona chip. A delightful chip at that. But then Spirit turned it on the second half. There was only one team really in the second period. Jesse Michelle made it 2-1 before some individual brilliance from Ollie Wigan made it 3. And this doubleheader here at Super Saturday at Christie Park on Saturday night sees for the first time this season Northwest Sydney Spirit win both the men's and the women's first grade clashes. Full time here from a packed house at Christie Park. Northwest Sydney Spirit 3, Hills United 1. <laughs>